A room in a shared apartment is home now for Abdul Ghani. He's a Syrian refugee who arrived here over a year ago from Damascus. The professor taught English literature in a number of the capital's prestigious universities before the troubles began and family and friends were killed. I saw the last day or the day of judgment in Damascus before I left Syria. I saw people, I saw the faces of people. I saw the death. I saw death, yeah. I say jam. Abdul has many health issues. When he's feeling well, his love of teaching normally brings him here. If I say, raise your hands. The teachers and the children are all refugees. The adult volunteers teach 130 students from the age of 6 to 17. More children would like to come, but there's no room and a long waiting list. While Malaysia is a signatory to the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, this country does not give refugee children free access to state schools. This is one of the many issues that those helping refugees would like the government to focus on. The Malaysian government has moved the responsibility to UNHCR. UNHCR is uh, in charge of um, doing the refugee status determination process. And once that process is finished, they will provide some services, support to refugees. Al Jazeera approached the Malaysian authorities and the UNHCR to comment on the status of Syrian refugees. They declined our request for an interview. For Abdul Ghani, the thought of returning home never enters his mind. What do you expect? Well, of course I feel so... I can't put it in words. I feel so bad how things turned out in, in that country, in Damascus.